Method return types. Every method in Java is declared with a return type, and it is mandatory for all Java methods. A return type may be a primitive type like integer, float, double, a reference type, or void type. The type of data returned by a method must be compatible with the return type specified by the method. So here are the key takeaways. Any data type can be used as a return type. Classes can be used as well. A return statement is added at the end of the method. Use void if the method returns nothing. No return statement is needed for void methods. So we're going to apply all these bullet points inside NetBeans. So here in NetBeans, we'll be using the same exercise files. So here I have the student class open, and we have a method called say hi. So according to our bullet points, if we are not returning any specific data type, then we use the void return type. That's why we have the keyword void in our method definition for say hi. If I remove this keyword, then we're going to get an error. A return type is mandatory for all Java methods. I'm going to bring that back. To our first bullet point, any data type can be used as a return type. So let's say we are we are returning an integer, we can use int, but as you can see, it's gonna give us an error right at the bottom of the method. This is because a return statement is needed at the end of the method. And this return statement will return a data of integer type. So before the closing brace, I'm going to add our return statement. Keyword return and then a value that should be an integer. You can say zero and then semicolon. So this can be any integer value. If we put a float value, then we're going to get an error. If we put a string value, we get an error. It should be an integer because that's what we indicated at the beginning of our method. So let's try string. If our return type is string, our return statement should return a string. So we have an attribute of string type. We can return that in this method. Okay. We can use double. Return statement must be double as well, 0.0. .0. We can also return classes. So we have here a nested class called course. Let's try to use that. So course, instantiate course inside this method. So course, bsit equals new course. And now we can return the object, yes, it. Use void if the method returns nothing. We can use void. Return statement will no longer be necessary. So let's create a method from scratch. I'm going to give it a return type of int. I'm just going to give this a generic method name, my method. Since I have a return type of integer, it needs to have a return statement. I'm just going to give it a random integer value like 0. So now if I go to the main class and try to use that method, so I'm going to say student benton plus new student. Let's try to use the my method. My method. If we build and run, we're not going to get anything. Okay. If we want to print out the returned value of this method, which is supposed to be 0, we can use a print line statement. Print my method. So now let's build and run. And now it's going to print out the value of my method. We can also assign this on a variable. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to create a variable integer num1 plus my method. So this works because I used an integer variable. 
which is compatible with the return type of my method, which is integer. So suppose we change this to string, we're going to get an error. So the data type of the variable that you're going to use has to be compatible with the data type being returned by the method. And now we can print out num1 and we're going to get the same result. So let's say we want to set the access for my method to public. So now, how do we add this to our class diagram? So we are back at the class diagram and we have the student class. We want to add a new method. It's called my method. The return type is no longer void. It is integer. And the access modifier would be public. So to indicate that a method is public in a class diagram, we use the plus symbol. If this was private, then we use the minus symbol. If this was protected, then we use the hashtag or the pound sign. Since this is public, we put in plus. So this is how you so this is how you define methods in the class diagram. Public int my method. Public int my method.